To health-related matters now, two persons die every hour due to rabies and 40% of people bitten by suspected rabid animals are children under the age of 15 years. This year's World Rabies Day was marked in just with vaccination of dogs, seminars and awareness campaigns. Our correspondent Babatunde Ajayi compiled the report. Rabies is a zoonotic disease caused by rabies virus, often transmitted from dogs to humans with 100% fatalities. This year's focus is vaccinate to eliminate. The dog is properly vaccinated, then there will be no fear of rabies and my children will be safer in the house, my neighbors will be safe and other animals around will be safe too. Don't vaccinate your dogs. Say your dog bites a cow. You go and eat the cow. You can die from rabies from the cow. Children under the age of 15 and below are more susceptible to dog bites. This is why veterinary doctors are calling for enforcement of laws that compel responsible dog ownership. The on rabies is on ground. And so what we want to just ask government to do is to enforce the law. Let the law be enforced for the control of rabies in the country. But these laws are obsolete. So we need um, newer laws to make sure that Every, everything is captured like it should be. Some of the fines that were attached to the laws, they are obsolete. Some of them would be like in Kobo, which we know that doesn't make any sense now. Events to mark the World Rabies Day include a drama skit and vaccination of dogs at a subsidized rate. It's time for us to look for a solution. We have lost so many people. Dago, I support it. We must fight this thing. For dog meat lovers, there is a word of caution. The person processing the dogs is at risk because during the process of butchering and processing the dog, there could be a cut. And the virus is also found in the nervous system, like I said. So either the saliva or nervous tissue, when it has contact with broken skin or even with intact mucous membrane, like the eyes, it can be transmitted. Controlling the incidence of rabies among the dog population in Africa is key to reducing the prevalence in human cases.